do a bronzer comparison video for you today. It is spring and I've started bronzing up my face a little bit more and just playing with bronzer. And I feel like whenever I go to look for a new product or shop, I want to know how it compares to other products and what it's going to look like on my skin. I am a MAC NW20 if that helps you guys at all. I am IT Cosmetics Light. Is there anything else that I can remember off the top of my head. I believe I'm CoverGirl 825. I think that's Buff Beige, maybe. But anyway, these are the bronzers, and I've swatched them in a most terrible place today that we are going to go over. So this is the It Cosmetics from the Live, Love, Laugh Vitality Flush Disc. This is Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. This is Ofra Americano Bronzer. This is the Undetectable Cream Bronzer by Sonia Kashik. This is Benefits Hula. NARS Laguna, NYC Sunny, and Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. So stay tuned for each of those individually swatched and compared to one another, as well as what I think of some of those products. So let's start with probably, I would say, one of the most talked about bronzers on YouTube. It is NYC Sunny. It does come in a plastic package with a nice sized mirror in it on the other side and I have used the snot out of this product and there's still a ton left. So there's the color there. I do feel like this is one that takes a lot of building up. It is a really good one to start with. There you go. If I pull back a little bit, it's easier to see. It is a matte bronzer. It is almost like a milk chocolate, maybe like almost like a peanut butter color. It is a little bit warm. And then the next one, this is probably, as you can see, my favorite. It's Benefits Hula. It also comes with a mirror, not that that's a mirror I ever use. I have hit major pan on this puppy. It is super creamy. It is definitely cooler, but also really forgiving. There's Hula. And I really love this, and I think it's absolutely worth the investment, but that's my personal opinion. I mean, that one's $28, and this one, I believe, is like 4 But I feel like this is just so much easier to work with. Well, spoiler alert, this is my favorite. This is so much easier to work with than the NYC Sunny, so that is why I like it. The next one is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, also a cult classic. Also has a nicely sized mirror. I have not really used this yet, as like I said, I'm still using the Hula every day, but I wanted to give it a try. I would say that this is pretty similar to the Hula. I think I'm going to be able to move from the Hula to the Too Faced with no issues. Of course, it smells like chocolate, like the Too Faced chocolate products. So, you know, there's that. And then the last one that I think these are like the biggest cult classics would be, I have a mini of NARS Laguna. I ordered this on eBay to try to test what I thought of the color. These three are entirely matte, and you can use them to contour. This one, I feel like, is more of a matte satin color and I feel like this is warmer. NARS Laguna is warmer to me, more like NYC Sunny. So Hula to me, Hula and Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, very similar. And then you have your NYC Sunny and the NARS Laguna that to me are more similar. Although of course, I mean if you look, they're all really, really similar. The Laguna is also creamy to me. It is a little more powdery than the Benefit Hula or the Chocolate Soleil. So if if that's something, if you're looking for like a really buttery product, I would say the Hula or the Chocolate Soleil would be my picks for that. But then there's something else that I really like that I don't have individually that I wanted to talk to you guys about. This is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark Palette. I believe it is still available. If it isn't, the Tarte Showstopper Palette Face Disc is also available. These are amazing for travel. You have all of the shadows, blush, highlighter, and then their really famous Park Avenue Princess. So there's that one. And that one is, I think, super creamy, easy to work with, easy to build up. I feel like it's a little bit more pigmented than the others when you very first use it. So it's a little less error proof. It is what I'm wearing today and I don't feel like I love my bronzer as much. Of course I shoot a bronzer video the day that I'm not loving it, but that one is is good and is really creamy. And let's see, let's put it next to Hula just so that you guys can have that comparison. So, okay, yeah. 
So there's Hula, and there is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, both matte, and I do feel like the Tarte one is just ever so slightly warmer. Not a lot, but ever, ever so slightly warmer. And then speaking of warm, this is dirty. Sorry, this is the other drugstore bronzer that I have, and this is actually the only cream bronzer that I have. It's by Sonia Kashuk, and it is in uh, 41 Warm Tan. It's called the Undetectable Cream Bronzer, and I don't care for it at all. I have tried to give it some love, but I just find that it is too warm for my skin, and like it almost pulls kind of red. So... I don't know. I mean, I also don't think it's as easy to work with. Oddly, it's a cream, but I don't think it's as easy to work with. So that's my personal opinion. I don't have the other color. I love Sony Kashuk products, but that for me was a miss. And then two more, you guys. I have this Ofra bronzer that I got in a BoxyCharm. This is the only one that I have with significant shimmer in it. So this would be like more of an all over the face. It is the Americano bronzer. It is really similar in color to, well they're all similar in color, <laughs> who are we kidding, but much powderier. It's similar to the Sonia Kashuk. And while it has sparkle in it, you know, now that I apply it, I do feel like you could use it as a contour if you were traveling or something. It wouldn't be my first choice, but it's not, it's not a ridiculous amount of shimmer. It is so powdery though that I'm just not sure. I don't know. I never use it and it's probably going to get purged, but you guys be interested in seeing what I get rid of. Sometimes I put those in my empties, but if you guys are interested in seeing me go through the process or any of that, let me know. But the last one, I always find this hard to open, is the It Cosmetics from the Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc. This is the bronzer here. It is also matte, and I do really like this. I did just get this, though, so I'm still deciding, you know, how I feel about it. But there is that one there. You guys, these are all so similar. I hope this video is helpful. I'm not sure. I'm going to put it next to Hula for you. So it is a bit warmer than Hula and a bit redder, I, I would say. It's not orange, but it definitely has a little bit of a red tone to it. That's Hula. And that is the It Cosmetics bronzer from the Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc. So, if I were going to give you a bronzer recommendation for this spring, or really for at all, I would absolutely recommend Benefits Hula Bronzer. You can use it all over your face. You can use it to contour. Obviously, I've given it a lot, a lot of love, so I really like it. And probably, for me, second place would be the Chocolate Soleil, but I haven't used it as much. I do really like the NYC though. So if you guys are looking for something drugstore to give a try, something really easy to use, give this a go. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your bronzer recommendations. I hope this was helpful to you in your shopping. Have a great day.